The other day I went to listen to a speaker. I was expecting a lot of great things from him. He started out, the opening was fantastic. I was mesmerized. I was waiting for the rest of it to come along. And yet, by the end of the talk, I had no idea what it was he was trying to tell me. Because that opening had very little to do with the main points, and none of those had anything to do with the conclusion. He gave me no help in remembering what his speech was about. And before I made fun of him, I realized, I've done that myself. I've given a talk, looked around the room, and been puzzled with people getting bored or confused. Oh, no. And if we are not communicating with the audience, it's not the audience's fault, is it? We need to do better. There's two parts to a speech. There's your content, what you have to say, your message. And there's how you deliver that message, your voice, your gestures. Now, delivery is important, isn't it? But if you don't have your content worked out to where your audience can follow you from one point to another one, it's not going to make any difference, is it? So tonight I've got some help for you. Something that's going to make it easier for you to create speeches that the audience can follow and make it easier for them to listen to you. Now there's three parts to every speech. The opening, how you introduce your material, whatever main points you have in their description, and then the conclusion, where you remind the audience what it is your message was about. Here's how we're going to go about it. The first thing you do when you start a speech is to write, no, not the opening. Write down the purpose of the speech. And by purpose, I mean the specific purpose. What would you like people to do, think, or feel as a result of your speech? For example, suppose you want people to become more aware of home safety and fire hazards. Well, that's a general topic. A specific purpose might be you want them to go home and check the batteries in their smoke detector. A very specific purpose. OK, you've got your purpose. You know why you're going to stand up and talk. Next thing is to write the conclusion. What? The conclusion? Yes, we're going to work on the end of the speech. Why? Because the conclusion is where you tell your audience what your talk was about. It's not a place to bring up new material. You want to leave them with your central message. So your conclusion summarizes that. Fine, now we've got our purpose and we've got our conclusion. You might have had to iterate a little bit on those two. That's all right. Finally, we're going to write our main points. So you've got, say, three points you want to make. You list them one at a time. And with each one of those, you'll give maybe a story, maybe an example, maybe an extended description of some kind, whatever it is, with a transition between each point. Finally, we've written our purpose. We've got a conclusion. We've written our points. OK, now you can write your opening. Why did we wait until the end to write the opening? It's very simple. Now we know what's in the speech, don't we? Unlike that speaker that I listened to a while back who had a great opening but didn't know what to do with it because it didn't relate to the rest of the speech, your opening is going to introduce the idea of you're talking about. So what have we done now? You've got a complete recipe for how to write a speech. Why is this important? Because if you're going to write a speech, it can be hard to come up with all the right pieces. But if you have a recipe for how you write it, then it's easier to go through the motion. And if it's easier to do those steps, that says there's a much better chance you'll like what you're, you've done. And even better, the audience will remember it. So let's review. You've got to write a speech. The first thing you're going to do is to decide the purpose, not the general purpose, not a vague idea of talking about this or that. 
with the specific purpose, what you want the audience to do, to think, or to feel as a result of listening to you talk. After you've written it down, yes, you should write that down, then you write the conclusion. The conclusion summarizes the entire talk. This is where you write down exactly what it is that you hope the audience take away. Then you're going to write the main point one at a time with the transition between each one of them. And finally, finally after you've got everything else, you can write the opening. If you will follow this method, you're going to find two things. One, it's easier to come up with material to present. And two, your audience is going to love it because they actually understand what you were trying to tell them.